Welcome to Folks and Art Trust's inaugural art exhibition here at the Town Hall. It includes a selection of works from the collection, including recent works for sale by the same artist. Uh, the collection comprises of about 250 pieces, uh, mainly paintings and drawings, but also ceramics and bronzes. I'm the chairman of the Folkestone Art Trust. I'm not even a, an artist myself. I support art. I uh, go to art shows, but I'm much more of an administrator, really. But you know something about this painting, do you? I remember the man well, John Titchell. He was a lovely old guy, and he used to sit on the curb, but this road goes round here, and that's the sea out there, and that takes you down to the Hotel Imperial. Mm. And here is the filling station. He used to sit here and paint that every morning, and he probably did it every evening. So I used to go past, whenever I went past, he was always sitting here, painting away, obviously, dots and everything. I don't know when he finished it, but, but he did many of these. This isn't the only one. And they were all clever and good and very sensitive. And a, a really nice guy, he's dead now, but his son is painting, and in fact his son has some pictures in this exhibition, there's three of them there. But uh, it's very nice and I, I like it, it's very colourful. He was one of the tutors at White Lodge. That's true, yes. I haven't seen it for a long time. And I think this is his father's work. It was fortunate, therefore, that whilst work was being exhibited in this important regional gallery that a committee were enlightened sufficiently to purchase not only these um, important works but also um, up-and-coming artists, local artists that are represented now in the collection such as Tim Titchell, John, his father John Titchell, um, uh, John Hoskins, uh, and Arthur Neal, all of whom have gone on to very sound careers in their respective fields. As a teacher in a local language school, I find this exhibition very useful and interesting because it allows me to bring my students here and they can see some local art that captures the spirit of this area and they can find a bit more about the local culture and hopefully enjoy some very nice paintings. Uh, so Ron, uh, tell me about Fred Coomin. I think you knew him from the old days, don't you? Well, he was born in South London. I can't remember the details, but anyway, he, he lived in Hythe in the 1970s, I think it was, and that's probably when he painted this picture. But he's gone on to become a, a Royal Academician and very, well, I would say almost famous because he, his work commands high prices and they are worth it and they're very nice and he uh, he's got a very particular style and uh, lots of people would like to think they could paint as good as him but they, they try and fail unfortunately it's only a small painting but it's indicative of what he does the collection was initiated by the friends of the Metropole and fully developed then by John Avery and Sir Kenneth Clark, with financial support from the KCC. So what we've done in the current exhibition is something we've never done before. We're showing works from the collection, just a small sample, but we've asked the artists concerned, or if the artist is already dead, we've asked his estate, or her estate, to add a few more works. And we've therefore got a number of paintings from most of the artists and we've grouped them together so when you look at the screens you're seeing several works by the same artist but created over a long period of time perhaps from the 60s when it first entered the Metropole collection to today or quite a recent uh, painting and that I think adds a lot of interest especially to artists because they can compare and contrast but I think for the general public it's another excuse to come in and have another look at what was going on in the 60s and what's going on now in the art world.
straight away I call it the tree of life. It just seems to be so alive. Even the, the seashells, you know, they're all life. And it's just absolutely brilliant. And I'm going to buy it. The first exhibitions that we had to show off the whole collection in three major goes was in the Grand. And uh, they supported us very well indeed. And we still store our collection there, for which we're also grateful. A visitor to the Folks and Art Trust collection and, and also students will see a continuity of artistic development through the 20th century in the form of painting, drawing, printmaking and sculpture. And it's very important uh, for people to realise that this is um, a very continuous process particularly in relation to the concurrent activities of what is popularly known as conceptual art, uh, which appears uh, every three years in the Folkestone Triennial. We're on our metal now. We've done this particular type of exhibition. It was a new idea and I'm not at all sure what we're going to do next. I think we could well repeat that, but Thinking ahead, what should we do to sell our collection, to show it off without boring people? And I'm sure the way is to attract currently practicing local artists to want to show their work alongside the collection. So one might pick up a theme, the same theme as the triennial, for example, in triennial year, and make that theme the um, binding force of the, exhi of, the uh, of the next exhibition. So we're actually going in to committee soon to uh, make that decision and work out how we're going to do it.